Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to set up your um, dual or in this case triple macro speedlight gear setup for macro photography. Um, the reason why I made this tutorial is because you know photography is always a very expensive hobby and if it is indeed a hobby like in my case or whoever's watching this video right now who clicked on the title that said cheap um, knows that you know you gotta spend a lot of money on gear to be able to do stuff that goes beyond just you know taking pictures of your family or whatever in this case it's macro uh, what you see right here the setup for the lens is a teleconverter which is not really needed for macro but allows me to shoot farther away from subjects um, but it takes away a lot of light actually half um, then you have the uh, extension tubes right here these separate the micro lens from the body of the camera and make it uh, you know add more uh, capacity for uh, taking pictures of very small things if I were to add an, another set of extension tubes right here or a bellows or something like that um, I would take pictures of uh, even smaller things there are other things that you can do like invert a lens or I don't know a lot of things you can do to take pictures of smaller things the thing is the smaller you go the more light is taken away from the shot and the more need you have for a source of light that can help you out in taking the pictures so there are, uh, there are a lot of ways you can do this. Um, this is not like the only way you can do it, but I decided to try this out because I've always wanted to try something like the R1C1, which is a system um, that, that's used on Nikon cameras. Uh, Canon has its own version, but the R1C1 is for, or the R1 actually also, um, is a system that screws onto the filter thread right here and then you have an, um, a larger ring that holds something, you know, kind of like this. A ring that holds small flashes. Of course, it's a professional gear and uh, it's, you know, it, it's a lot better. Uh, it, it works better with your camera. Um, it's TTL. Um, but it's more expensive. <laughs> this this um, gear I'm talking about, the R1C1, goes for close to $800 in Amazon plus shipping and handling. Um, if you've got the money lying around or if you know you work professionally in photography then of course you know spend the money. But this tutorial right here is for people like me who you know get the wife to approve a small budget and can only spend so much money in, in you know in your gear for photography. So I'm going to explain what you're looking at right here. Right here is the emitter. It uh, receives a signal from uh, the hot shoe and uh, it actually has, it works with four channels. Um, they're all set up right now in one channel. So the emitter lets the receptors know that you know you're shooting, a, 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 you're making a shot and each one of these activates these small flashes right here, these small flash units. So I'm just going to do it once. There you go. So what you're looking at right here is actually the purchase of a lot of very cheap separate items. One of the items is actually two items. The thing you see right here, this uh, ring that's holding the whole these flashes right here this ring is actually two half rings that you can buy at Adorama I'm gonna place a link for looking at the item in, Am in Amazon right now right here on the screen uh, you're gonna see a small rectangle you can click on it and you're gonna look at the item in Amazon those rings um, if I'm not mistaken go for around I think it's like seventeen dollars so you got two of those alright um, 
Then you got the small flashes. These go for $6.50 each. They're generic. They're not high quality. I mean, they're very cheap. They're very weak. But when you're shooting very close, you know, weak is fine. I, I originally thought I would have to ha add a diffuser to them, and I made these little things with uh, transparent um, plastic and Velcro that you could put on them. And these would be the diffusers, which help to, you know, spread light out, not have it so focused, and, and you won't burn the shot. That's what you normally do with <clears throat> um, strong flashes, you know, the, the kind that really, if, it, if you have three of these, you're going to burn the shot if they were strong flashes. But these are very weak, very cheap, and light, which is another important thing when you have so much stuff hanging on your camera. You know, when you're holding it, this is actually heavy because of the metal ring, mostly, and because the fact that you have all this, you know, sticking out of the camera. So it becomes heavy. It's a bit uncomfortable, <coughs> but macro photography and like other sorts of photography, you can't think about being comfortable. You got to think about getting the best shot. So um, these each go for 650. And finally, the uh, receptors and the emitter, the infrared emitter, the, this is a package you can also buy. For the flashes, um, each of these bring um, this small bracket, which would screw on the bottom of your camera, and you would have the flash on the side. You've seen this before, probably. Um, but you don't need them right here. You just screw these... Um, things on the ring right here which has you know this thing right here so where you can screw the you can actually uh, move them around I placed if you look at it I placed two more on one side you have a stronger light on this side and then you have a fill light by this other flash right here on the side which gives a more natural um, lighting to the shot you want to make um, you could have like two or you know even one or you could get a stronger flash to put here and not worry about having so much you know so much stuff here um, so this package of uh, actually four uh, receivers and one emitter it goes for I think uh, like thirty seven dollars so when you add all that up uh, I'm not gonna do the math right now but I remember it was something like uh, 70 something dollars maybe or some you know it's times 10 and more is the R1C1 so again this is not the best but it's very cheap so um, I'm gonna show you actually um, how they come these are Chinese you know this is not very good stuff but they come packed like this they, they bring small cables which you would use to connect to a flash that works with cables. And, uh, and there's another receiver right there. Actually, uh, this is so cheap that I had trouble with uh, these very cheap uh, flashes that don't have a, uh, a screw to help you tighten them up on, on, on the hot shoe right here. Uh, so they kind of like had a slight give to the sides and that would not let it make good contact right here with this so it wouldn't shoot so what I had to do was it has three little screws right here I took off this piece and I just bent it with um, um, a tool just a little bit so the flashes would slide in um, tighter into into the receiver so again I mean, this is not high quality, um, you know, it would be useless to make comments to me about buying professional gear if you're going to do, you know, take really good shots. You can take a look at my macro gallery and you're going to see, you know, you get pretty good shots with this. Um, again, this is for the hobbyist, not the professional, you know, professionals go buy the expensive gear. Hobbyists keep paying attention.